In today's video, we will talk about the bypassing of interlocking signal from a drive block. This is runtime HMI and 221 FN03 is a fan. I can trace the PLC E22. So in the PLC E22, I'll go to the 221 FN03. The drive block of the 221 FN03 is watched online and in the inter interface of the operation interlock you can see the interconnection and over here we have a number of signals that are being fed into the operation interlock input interface of the 221FN03. Two signals have been ORed while the third signal is ended with the output of the two ORed signals. 221 BF03. This is a bake filter and this bake filter running signal has been fed into the operation interlock of the fan that is 221FN03. If you click on it, you can see that EVS is the running signal of 221BF03 that has been fed into the operation interlock C interlock block of the 221FN03. I have watched online and it is one right now. So the objective is to bypass this 221BF03 running signal because at some times it is required to bypass. For example, if the mechanical team or maintenance team is working on the back filter 221BF03, I need to bypass it because I do not want to trip the 221FN03 fan while tripping will mean the stoppage of the process. So I will simply take the signal away from the interlock block and I will connect it to the end block over here. Now the signal has been bypassed. Now I will download the PLC program because I have made changes. I will simply click on the download button and with the downloading it will perform the compilation as well. So changes only for compilation and for PLC program download. It will start compiling the program and after compilation it will download the changes made to the program to the PLC. It will take some time. So let me stop the video and I will get back to you once the program has been downloaded. Well, the program has been successfully downloaded. Let me monitor the program blocks. Watch it online. Well, you can see that the second input has high bit, while the interlocking signal of 221BF03 has been bypassed. Let me monitor the C drive block of the 221FN03, and it is in operation. It hasn't caused any stoppage or it hasn't been stopped. Now if the 221BF03 is even stopped, tripping of the fan will not happen. Well in order to remove the bypass, you can simply reconnect the, the 221BF03 signal to the interlock block and you will perform the compilation and PLC program download as I did before and this is how you will restore the interlocking signal 221BF03 into the operation interlock of the 221FN03 fan. Again it will take some time while it compiles and download the program to the PLC. Well, the program has been successfully downloaded and if you watch it online, you can observe that the 221BF03 interlocking signal into the operation interlock of 221FN03 has been restored and it has been reconnected again and the fan is in operation as well. So this is how we bypass the interlocking signals from blocks and we restore it again. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.